everybody. I'm here to share what's going on in the garden today. I'm gonna do a little quick walkthrough. I did harvest some Swiss chard, some lettuce, and what else did I harvest? String, some beans, snap peas, tomato, and cucumber. So yeah, so I did um, harvest some of those, a lot of Swiss chard. The Swiss chard is still doing really well. Um, one thing what we planted, my husband planted some spinach this year, it did absolutely nothing. So I don't know what was wrong with the spinach. However, everything else is doing well. We're finally getting cucumbers. I'm excited. Oh, I love fresh cucumbers. They're so delicious and tasty compared to the store. You gotta squeeze them and make sure they're fine and not soggy and all that stuff. So um, <clears throat> the cucumbers, I'm excited to have some of those. So let me share with you what's going on in the garden. Okay, here are my annuals, some of them anyway. really really good now these here petunias I grew from seed I um, harvested some seeds from some petunias last year and that's where these came from so I'm excited about this this these right here the ones down at the bottom I did buy so hopefully one year I will be able to do all my annuals one year I'll be able to do all my annuals from seed okay and these in here are doing well too and that one's doing well I trimmed it down and now it's starting to fill back out I trim it down maybe like every other week so it'll stay nice and fresh and have some nice full blooms and here is some sage and basil in this pot right here it's doing okay and here are the terracotta pots that I have over here and they're all doing pretty decent some purple basil that's um peppermint it's doing fine i have some that i've dried out already okay now here is the garden okay if it, hopefully if you hear something it is the um air conditioner so let's go over here now some of my um tomatoes i noticed they're getting the leaves are getting yellow i know we missed a couple days from watering because they have been raining so much and then when it stopped raining I'm like oh my gosh you gotta go um, water the garden so we got quite a few tomatoes on here you can see them I took one off that I want to fry and maybe I'll do that today. if I don't do it today I'll do it tomorrow and here's our peppers over here I took off two bell peppers the other day. There's another bell pepper back there. Got some peppers growing. Okay, here are our greens and they're bolting. They're going to seed. So what we're gonna do is, you know, allow them to um, bolt, go to seed, dry out. And once they dry out, we harvest the seeds and put them up for next year. And these, these mustard greens are seeds from last year as well that we um, harvest from the garden. Last year was our first time harvesting seeds, so that was really cool. The same with our lettuce here. See, it's bolting. And we're just letting that do its thing so we can get those seeds. I'm so sad we don't have any more lettuce. I had to buy lettuce today. I was <laughs> happy about that. Swiss chard, I harvest some Swiss chard, and it's, it's still doing really nice. And cucumbers I got a couple off yesterday I had one today so three cucumbers let me see see that one that'll be ready for tomorrow so you got some little ones on there and it's growing up this little thing my husband prepared put that up there so it could I have to hook that on there so it could attach itself up there there's a another cucumber oh here another one because I, I was just thinking I haven't seen a lot of cucumbers here on this side and it's like bunched up it didn't um we didn't space this right and it's some more tomatoes back over in there and like I say their cucumbers are growing up this here arch and our potatoes, they're starting to die out a little bit. They, they have a while to go, probably a month. 
be a month before we can harvest these, the potatoes. We have two bins and we have a couple pots. Barrel here, we have some potatoes growing in. And our cabbage is doing fine. I'm trying to let them, you know, form a ball before I take them up. So they're doing nice. I'm surprised we don't have that much damage from them um, butterflies. And sweet potatoes, I look at that there, growing a lot. Hopefully we have a lot of sweet potatoes. And here's some beans. I harvest some of those too. We need to cook them. Some basil in that little pot there. These are potatoes too in this little pot. And some more beans. More beans. Yeah, I'm not liking how these are looking down there. Now the tomatoes we have in the pot are not doing well at all. They look really bad. I'm just I'm sure it's that they don't have enough room. So we're not gonna do that again. And here's some beans. These are some snap peas. I harvest some off. They get big so fast. I'm trying to find one. Let's see if I can see one on here. Uh, here is one on there. But they get big so fast. I mean, when I say big, they get atrocious. And here's Jayla's sunflower. Her little, what is that, spaghetti squash not doing well. That's why we don't grow spaghetti squash and zucchini anymore. It just does not do well here for some reason. But here is her sunflowers. Aren't they big? And these are the ones she planted in her cupcake greenhouse from seed. And they're growing big. And then we have some um, these sunflowers right here in my pot. Fell in the pot, <laughs> probably from the birds. So they're going. So they're going in there. Okay, so that's what's going on in the garden, you guys. Like, thank you guys for watching. And um, it's finally warming up here. It had been really cool, crazy. We were getting a lot, lot of rain. That's why we end up forgetting about watering the garden because we were getting rain like every day. It was so much rain. Our backyard is finally drying out a little bit. It's still a little damp over there but it's finally drying out so and now it is warm because we had a lot of cool days which was very odd um, for this time of year <clears throat> even things like our green um, trees aren't real green they look strange they look kind of like they want to go into fall um, oh and the pear tree is doing well the pears are getting a little bit bigger I need to check on pears see how long it takes for them to actually grow how many weeks but the pears are getting bigger so hopefully um, we don't have to fight any animals for those. So thank you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.